Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to another very special episode of the Soul Talk podcast. I think each episode gets richer and fuller and more soulful as we go along. Uh, as always, it's really great for me to know how much you've been enjoying Soul Talk and how your lives are being touched. I love hearing from you, so please keep those emails coming, messages on Facebook, on Instagram. Please definitely keep sharing Soul Talk with all of your loved ones, downloading the episodes. I really appreciate your support. And uh, it's just my vision and mission that uh, as many people as possible are inspired by the Soul Talk conversations. Today, I'm very excited about my guest today. I first read her book, maybe her book started probably about eight, 10 years ago, if not before. And uh, she is a New York Times bestselling author of Emotional Freedom, The Empath Survival Guard, uh, Positive Energy, Second Sight, which I really loved. That That's a book that actually helped me embrace more of my own intuitive abilities. And so I'm, I'm just thrilled. She's She's a visionary in her field. Uh, she's been transforming the face of psychiatry and medicine and just, to, I think, the way we look at healing uh, on many different levels. She has uh, been featured in New York Times and Old Magazine, Forbes, Newsweek, USA Today, Wall Street Journal. I mean, folks, the list goes on. She's been on Dr. R, CBS. I think she's a legend. I'm very privileged to have her on Soul Talk today, the amazing Dr. Judith Orloff. Welcome to Soul Talk. Oh, thank you. I'm happy to be on your show. Yeah, it's great to have you. You know, as I said, I'm a huge fan. I actually saw you speak, I think it was quite a few years ago, uh, at, I think it was Agape, Agape Center, uh, years back. And I was just so inspired by just your realness and just sharing in, in your journey. Uh, uh, one thing I always like to do just to, for a short moment in the beginning uh, is just 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 to set a context on your journey. I would I would love to just hear a bit about, uh, especially for those that don't know your journey, a bit about just how did you get to be doing what you're doing as a doctor in psychiatry, transforming uh, psychiatry and you know bringing in intuition and empathy and healing modalities. I know you're you know you work with the UCLA psychiatric. Uh, you're on the faculty of the clinical faculty at UCLA the psychiatric division. I'd love to hear a bit about your journey as to how you got started in this field. What was the journey? What, what, what prompted you to move into doing what you're doing now? Yes, that's a great question. Um, I just want to mention that I have a new book out. It's called Thriving as an Empath, and it's a mm. so cool self-care tools for empaths and sensitive people to um, not absorb the energy and emotion of others so that you know, empaths mm-hmm. can have their power and intuition and depth and creativity. Um, and mm-hmm. so that's coming out right now, and I'm on a book tour. And I want to say that I'm a psychiatrist and an empath. And mm-hmm. as an empath, what that means is that I have the attributes that I've mentioned in terms of intuition, I feel very strongly about listening to your inner voice and connecting deeply Mm -hmm. with that um, connection to nature. Empaths are often compassionate and intuitive and loving, um, but they have certain challenges where they don't Mm -hmm. have the normal filters that other people have. Uh, And so they tend to be bombarded by a lot of energies of the world And they get exhausted by being in crowds or being around too much noise, too much light, too Mm -hmm. many people, Mm -hmm. um, and need to learn self-care tools and how not to absorb the world's pain or your partner's stress or your co-worker's stress and become empowered to be able to shine with your empathy and your love and your goodness and your intuition. Mm -hmm. And so that's really what my mission is. And certainly with this mm. bookstore, it's about teaching people how to yes. thrive as an empath and not just be brought down mm. by the challenges of sensitivity. 